I just got back from talking to a Lutheran pastor. Ay, 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 ay. Oy vey. Now, I just went to his church with just one simple question, and that is, how does someone get saved? I mean, if someone comes up to, I said to him, uh, if someone comes up to you and, and asks you, uh, what do I do, or what, how do I get saved, what would you say to them? And he said, well, that's a very complicated thing to answer. And I thought to myself, well, you know, that should be a simple thing to answer. I mean, how many times did people come up to Jesus and say, you know, more or less the same thing, like, how do I inherit eternal life? How do I attain to eternal life? How do I get saved, in other words? And Jesus said, without missing a beat, Jesus said, keep the commands. Now, I know a lot of people like to not, you know, not talk about that. They like to talk about something that sounds so very simple and so very passive, where, you know, where it says, you just believe in Jesus and you will have eternal life. But, I mean, let's take the whole thing. Let's not cherry pick scriptures. Let's not pick this, what Jesus said, and, 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 and leave this behind, okay? Or, or, you know, pick, pick this scripture and leave the other scripture behind when it's b both right there in the Gospels. But anyway, I asked him, you know, how does someone attain to eternal life? How do they know they're, they're going to heaven? How do they know they're saved? And he said, well, it's, it's, all, it's all by God, you know. It's just, it's all by faith, not by works. You know, we're saved by faith, not by works. And he kept on saying that, you know, quoting out of that one little, uh, that one little sound bite from Paul. Uh, you know, we're saved by faith, not by works. And I said to him, well, you know, does that mean that you're saved only by the f faith, uh, only by faith and not by any works that any human can do? He said, exactly right. That's what it is. I said, you know, uh, it, it's faith. And he, and he clarified, he said very specifically, you know, it's faith, which is a gift of God, nothing to do with yourself, not by works. It, it, you know, it's nothing to do with yourself, nothing to do with, with any works of any human being. It's only by faith that, uh, from a gift of God. I said, so, you know, that means, just to clarify, that means, I mean, just to confirm here, what you're saying is it's got nothing to do with works, any kind of works from a human being. He said, that's right, it has nothing to do with works. And so I said to him, well, you know, in order for someone to get saved, they need to hear the gospel. He said, yes. And I said, well, in order for them to hear the gospel, they need to have someone preach to them. He said, absolutely. And so I said, well, if I go to a person who's never heard the gospel before and I preach the gospel to them and they believe and they get saved, aren't they getting saved because of my works? I'm preaching. I'm doing the work here. I am doing, you know, I'm doing the human work here of preaching the gospel. And he said, well, no, no, that's not, that's not work. That's, that's grace. That's, that's, that's God's grace. I'm like, okay, I <laughs> see where we're getting here. Complete denial. Okay, so then he went on to say that you must be baptized in water to be saved. I said, okay, hold on a second. You said that to be saved, you only, I mean, you, in order for it to be saved, it must be by faith, which is a gift of God, nothing to do with yourself and nothing to do with any work, anything that you do. He said, that's correct. I said, well, you said that you have to get baptized in water in order to be saved. He said, that's correct. I said, that's a work, obviously. That's a work. Hello. He said, oh, no, that's not a work. That's, that's, that's grace. And so I said, well, you know, you talk to the Jews, for example, the whole entire law, the whole entire Torah is grace. I mean, God graced the Torah upon the human race. He loved us so much. He, he gave us the commands. He loved us so much. He told us what to, how to live our life, to, you know, to be pleasing to him and how to be how to live our life, to, you know, to be sin free and, 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 and live our life so that no one will be, uh, you know, hurt by our sin. And so he just kind of sloughed that all aside, all aside. I'm like, well, you know what? To one person, the law is grace. And he said, oh, no, no. Grace is just the gift of God, which is the faith. Uh, but you have to be baptized in water. It has nothing to do with works, but you have to be baptized in water. And I'm thinking, oh, this is really, 
I mean, the guy is obviously dancing around the truth. He's dancing around the facts. And so it just really got me to once again see how distorted the church has got, how distorted the, you know, the doctrine of the church is. And I'm not talking about just the Lutheran church. I know that other people believe the same thing. You know, and so, I mean, let's take the whole scripture. Let's take everything from Genesis to Revelation. Because after all, it's all, when it says God, you know, thus saith the Lord, that's the word of God. And and, and the word of God is eternal. It's timeless. It says in Psalms, it is forever settled in heaven. Not temporarily until Jesus comes. Forever settled in heaven. So, yeah, I mean, very confusing man, uh, very confused man. And I think there are a lot of very confused people out there who believe the same thing. So I, I call you all to really dig into the Word yourself. Really, I mean, it's time to really assess, reassess our doctrine that we've been taught. Is it really biblical? Is it really scriptural? Is it, does, it, does, it really, does it really have a, a basis in Scripture? The entire Scripture, not just cherry-picking verse, verse here, verse there, okay? Now, in another video, I'm going to talk about the, the, uh, the verse that says, by faith you're saved, not by works, okay? So uh, make sure you follow me. Make sure you uh, uh, thumbs up this video and um, stick around and uh, keep an eye on my channel because there's a lot more videos coming up. Thanks for watching.